although only one of them truly wanted to be there. The other sat distantly in a corner while smashing buttons on his game device. The room was a lot more decorative than before. Cartoony like pictures posted all over the walls with the letters of the alphabet and numbers. There was an array of stuffed toys lined beside the crib. A small table with each side and leg painted randomly with primary colors. A draw cabin with extra clothes and blankets. An extra plush and soft cream rug to soften the hard wooden floor. Overall, it looked more alive than the bare mini of a crib. Despite all the new toys he was given, Izuku only attached himself with one. The angry Endeavor plushie. His little arms wrapped themselves around the plushie's torso. His gummy jaw chewed on its cloth flames. Fu Ayumi giggled awkwardly while holding out a teddy bear. Come on, Izuku. Don't you want to play with something else? Like Mr. Bear over here. Nice name, sis. Natsuo jabbed lazily, his eyes still on his game screen. Chiyu. Izuku did not want the bear. It was obvious with the way his little head tried to turn away from the bear while still holding the Endeavor plushie. He just wanted that one plushie. Nothing else. Pouting curiously, Fu Ayumi tried to take the plushie from him. The second her hand gripped around the toy's arm the baby gave her a look. It was a wide-eyed begging look. Like the baby was begging her please don't take my favorite toy away from me. I will cry if you do. So please save yourself the headache and guilt. Please. Seeing those wide almost glossy eyes she retreated. The last thing she wanted was to make the little one cry. Wow. You really like that toy huh? Witnessing the exchange, the other Todoroki sibling raised a suspicious eyebrow. I'm telling you. That baby is a weirdo. Natsuo. Tell me I'm wrong. I dare you. He challenged loudly. Why would any baby not be afraid of their father? It's just not normal. The rise voices around him made Izuku start to whimper. Soon enough he full out cried horrifically. Fu Ayumi was quick to scoop him and try and calm him down. Natsuo did nothing. Only clasped his hands over his ears demanding someone make that baby stop. It only made things worse. Izuku was born with quite the pair of ear piercing vocals. His wails echoed all around them. Look what you done. How is this my fault? You know we don't have to deal with a meanie like you. Fu Ayumi huffed with her chin raised. Taking Izuku in her arms, she marched out of the room. The baby was still crying. That was until they escaped the darkness of the hallway. The moment they did, and light hit his little face his tears were gone. The only thing in his eyes was curiosity. His head swiveled from side to side as he observed his new surroundings. Fu Ayumi took notice of the baby's sudden curiosity. You haven't been out of that room much of you. The answer was clearly obvious. Not only has she not seen the boy outside that room but Izuku was looking at everything as if it were all new. Never seen. A brand new world to touch and chew on. His little arms wobbled around trying to reach and touch all the new items in his sight. Fu Ayumi giggled at the baby trying so hard to reach this one random knick-knack. How about we go explore the two of them wondered the halls. Well, more so Fu Ayumi since Izuku couldn't move around on his own quite yet. They explored room after room. Form her own bedroom to her brother's bedrooms. Fu Ayumi let Izuku touch a few things. Nothing dangerous. Some plants. He liked those the most. When they went outside in the garden Izuku instantly gravitated to the pretty colors of the flower patch. When they got close enough, he managed to pick one. Constantly, he patted on their petals and admiring the new feeling on his soft fingers. Although Fu Ayumi had to step in when he tried to eat it. This was not this first or last thing he had tried to eat. He also tried to chew on one of her ribbons from her room. She got it out of his mouth before that. Izuku really has a habit of chewing on things. Hopefully, it will not be so bad as he grows. The baby also had an odd obsession with the walls. Every time he saw a new wall that looked different form the pervious his hand gravitates towards it. The girl would walk closer and giggles as the baby aggressive pats it. He also liked pictures. There weren't many scattered about but with the few on display Izuku would always stare. Fu Ayumi would tell him the story behind each or at least who was in it. Family pictures were rare. There was only really one that had all of them together. It was a generic family picture yet Izuku seemed interested in that one the most. We took this picture at around Natsuo's four birthday. Dad isn't smiling as per usual. Mom looks very pretty in it. But she looks so tired. Her energy dipped little bit. Thinking about her mother. Especially now. The woman hasn't been herself lately. It was disheartening to not know what to do about it. Sensing the girl's sadness, Izuku looked up at her concern. Gently, he patted her cheek. Biaba. Smiling, Fu Ayumi planted a kiss on the baby's hands. It's okay Izuku. Let's continue our adventure they were having so much fun exploring she failed to notice where they were heading. That was until she heard grunting. Keep your back straight, boy. You're old enough to know the proper from. Yes, sir. Fu Ayumi stopped in her footsteps. She shouldn't be here. Not with the baby. She wanted to leave but it was clear Izuku did not. His tiny ears recognized the voices. He wanted nothing more than to follow them. He reached his tiny arms to the source leading over the girl's arms. Fu Ayumi nearly dropped him. He was determined to see. Seeing that, Fu Ayumi gave in to the baby whims and tiptoed over. Securing the baby in one arm she pulled the sliding door out with the other. There was a small crack that they could both just see through. Beyond the doors was her elder brother and father doing their daily training. Both of them each changed fist as well as fire. Izuku was completely mesmerized by the flames. He couldn't stop staring at them. The way they danced. Their bright colors. 
the fact they were coming out of a person. Fu Ayumi was a lot more wary. She wasn't a fan of flames and heat. Probably because her quirk was the opposite of that. She can make small frost. Great for a hot sunny day and you want a snow cone. The dance of fire got a little too heated for her liking. Taai let out a bust of flames that came a little too close to the door. She screamed panicked and tripped off her feet. She held baby as tightly as she did. Her back slammed against the hard wall while her eyes winced shut from the pain. When she opened them again, she saw her father's stern face. Panicked again, she held a baby in her arms tighter. Hello, father. What are you doing here, Fu Ayumi? With the baby no less, he questioned sternly. His sharp eyes landed at the baby in question. The baby stared back at him, laughing and waving his tiny arms at him. The child did not know the danger he was almost harmed by. I thought I told you all not to come by here. Especially during training. It's too dangerous. I'm sorry. I know. It's just that Izuku was really curious and wanted to see. Fu Ayumi explained while bowing apologetically. Endeavor raised an eyebrow. Did you know, he leaned closer to the baby. They were still giggling their head off while trying to reach the hero. Sternly, he waged a figure at the child. Wait till you're older. You're far too young. The finger waging at his face was just close enough to grab. So, he did. The hero didn't pull away curious and what the baby would do next. To one surprise, the baby began to nibble at the tip. The two other children present tried to hold back their giggles. Izuku on the other hand did not try. He giggled and drool with the finger in his mouth. All the while Endeavor stared blankly almost disappoint. His eyes looked back up to his daughter. Please tell me you fed him. It was then Fu Ayumi saw her way out. So, she took it. Now that you mentioned it. It is rather late. We really both should eat. She hurriedly said and dashed off with Izuku in her arms. His little head was over her shoulders. Green eyes never leaving the hero that was until they disappeared around the corner. Endeavor sighed hoping the boy wasn't too hungry. He wiped the drool off his finger and turned to his son. His chest was puffed out. His eyes told him he had something to say. You don't have to train Izuku. He's not even one of us. Wouldn't it be better to leave him alone and let him do whatever? Like Natsuo and Fu Ayumi. The hero hummed at the thought. At first instinct he would agree. He never had a desire or plans to train the green baby in the future. Then again, if Izuku wishes to train in the future then I will not stop him. Especially, if his quirk proves to be more useful than your siblings. Why aren't I enough? Taiya yelled back slightly offended. His father rolled his eyes. Out of all his current children only Taiya stood an actual chance of succeeding him. The other two are just too weak and Izuku is a mystery without knowing his parentage. Besides it does not like he was of his blood anyway. He wouldn't force the boy to do anything he didn't want to. So, if the child wanted to, why not? You're strong, Taiya. I'll give you that. However, your body still needs to learn how to handle your flames. I have no doubt you will surpass me and then all might. You just need more training. Understand? Taiya's head dropped as he solemnly nodded. Back to his brutal training. Hopefully, Izuku wouldn't have to go through it. Even more of a reason to survive it. He will become strong. He just needed to be a little stronger. Then no one else needs to go through it. Just him. Beside he liked the thought of surpassing his father one day. All this hard work was for himself as well. An, and another one down. Tick that off the list. I would also like to bring attention to the current manga chapter with Hawks. It was adorably sad. That Endeavor plushie he had is the exact same one Izuku has. I swear. They have the angry eyes and everything. Iron Slayer Dragon. Thanks. I hope this continues to be a fun ride for you. Raichen 6 indeed. Izuku is adorable. Although Natsuo is taking some time to warm up to him. Lizil is a yen Natsuo is pretty lost when it comes to baby Izuku. Then again, he is like 5. Fu Ayumi will definitely be number 1 sister. And yes. Izuku will win the fiery man over. One step at a time. This doll will be the first step. How can you not love this fearless smiley baby?